Hello everyone, this is Momo Prasad. Oftentimes we have toxic people within our uh, lifetime. You know, we, we, we meet these people who essentially drain all our energy, all our motivation, everything that we have. They just kind of bring us down. Right? And there's, there's, of course, this toxic positivity where you have a big dream and you're willing to take a risk. And there's always this people who are able to somehow talk to us in such a way that we are, we just give up from taking risks. So this is a few things that uh, a lot of us feel uh, tough to do, walking away. Walking away, I know it is one of the toughest things to do is to walk away from these people because toxic people are sometimes quite, uh, how would you say, attractive in its own way or they are quite uh, persuasive, right? Now, and, and the, of course, the other aspect is, of course, you feel a, little, a lot more guilty in terms of walking away from someone. But remember, walking away is critical not only for that person, but it's also for you. Walking away doesn't mean that you hate that person. It doesn't mean that you have a uh, dislike for that person. You can always love that person. You know, sometimes toxic people are within our close friends or within our family members themselves. They might be toxic, but walking away doesn't mean that you hate them it's just a matter of us limiting our exposure to them right and 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 it and the most important thing that you need to know is that your mental health as a human being is very critical so you have to take care of your mental health first right so you walking away right it's not just for the relationship but it also is for your mental health remember leadership I always talk about leadership but leadership only starts with self-leadership and self-leadership sometimes means that you need to know when to step back when to assess the situation and if the situation is not favorable for you it is time to walk away and toxic relationships are those relationships where you really need to assess the situation see if it's fitting you if it's not giving you the health positive vibes that you require in this life it's time to walk away but it that does not mean that you're gonna hate them or, or you're gonna have uh, ill feelings towards them it's just a matter of limiting your exposure to them remember all the uh, great gurus and the pundits have already spoken they say who you surround yourself with is what your future will be so surround yourself with positive people people who have amazing self-leadership people who take care of their mental health so that they can progress together first uh, for, for, for together I mean okay so hope that helps you today right number one is that walk away from toxic people number two walking away doesn't mean that you hate them right and number three is that you can always love someone who's uh, you know within your relatives within your friends who are toxic but you just gonna minimize your exposure to them right hope that explains to you take care